Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about this newly created rivalry or, I don't know, some bodybuilding drama, I would even say conflict between these two bodybuilders. Obviously on the right you have Patrick Moore and on the left you have Amir Omeragic. If you don't know who the kid is, uh, he just beat Rolly Winkler, the Chicago pro, he placed well in a couple of shows. He's just breaking through the, the professional high-level ranks. Uh, by the way, yeah, I said kid, because he's 22. Believe it or not, obviously he needs a lot more work to put in over the years, but like he's incredible for such a young age. He's like one of the top pros in that, uh, let's say, second or third tier. And you know, he might even qualify for the Mr. Olympia this year, if he improves his legs a little, but overall he's really impressive, especially if you consider that he's 22 right now. So you can say that he is the future of the sport, who also has the nickname The Future, that's Patrick Moore. Before we continue and actually see what happened between these two guys, uh, take a look at a comment from Chris Asita, who is by the way the coach of Emir. Uh, he says, stop talking so much. And now let's go, let's go, let's see what happened. So it started with Patrick posting this uh, photo of his back lat spread uh, and saying, I call it confidence, cause I'm not cocky. I just know one thing, they can't stop me. <laughs> and Hamir apparently felt like, the way I'm feeling right now, why? Where is the confidence of this guy? I mean, he didn't do anything since 2019, that was three years ago where he was tanned at the Mr. Olympia. Everybody expected him to be like the next big thing, he didn't do nothing with it. And then Emin went on and uh, he commented, he said, talk is cheap. By the way, these comments, you can't find them right now on Patrick's page. He deleted them, but you can find them here. Patrick responded to this by saying, uh, so is your hair piece. <laughs> I don't know what the hell did he mean by that, I mean, uh, again, Amir is 22, so I don't think he has a fake uh, hair or anything like that, I don't know what the hell did he mean by that. Then Patrick Moore added another comment, and uh, this time he said, a little man built like a mini fridge and trying to talk smack. Now, of course, he didn't say smack, but you get the idea, I don't want to say the word because of the algorithm. But no, this is not where this stopped, uh, these guys continued <laughs> going back and forth. Next comment was from Amir, saying, you're the future of the past. I let the work talk. And as you can notice, Amir has a lot more likes than Patrick, and this is Patrick's page. I guess a lot of people feel like Amir, a lot of people are tired of Patrick just uh, talking and not doing anything. Uh, so Patrick responds. Well, in that case, you're not saying anything because you're trash. And he had another thing. Remember, you follow me, I don't follow you. And Emmy responds, I will continue to follow you, future Mr. Olympia. <laughs> Being sarcastic, obviously. I don't know, I gotta say I love this. <laughs> I loved it. When I read this first, I was laughing. So as you can see right here, this is the comparison of these two guys. Uh, their backs, and uh, from the back it, it apparently looks like Amber is much better, but I hope they are gonna do the same show, I hope this is the reason for all this smack talk, uh, or it is simply because Patrick's nickname is the future, uh, but, you know, he's like 36, 7 right now, he's almost... He's, he's soon gonna retire, probably, and Amber is in the actual future, being uh, 22 right now, so maybe that's the reason why, why, why Amir wanted to comment on his post, or simply he was tired of Patrick talking, you know, being super cocky and not doing anything, really. So I get him if that was the case. Anyways, we're gonna see if this is gonna continue. Apparently Patrick uh, deleted the comments, but he didn't delete them on time. I saw them and I made this video so you guys can see what happened, and uh, I hope, I hope they're gonna be on the stage together because that's gonna make an awesome rivalry. Alright, next we have a, let's say, a complete physique update of Brandon Curry, so he posted this photo, it's a most muscular, obviously, and he looks freaking great. But before we analyze his physique, let's read what he has to say here. So he says, a glimpse of what's to come in two weeks time at the Arnold Sports. Pick taken on the same day as the other pics I posted this week, empty stomach after fasted cardio, deplete, 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 is the goal at the moment, he's really trying to emphasize that he is flat, that he is depleted. Anyways, he says, a lot of people have been asking why, they, why the pics uh, are taken from so far away, we take pics close up and we take them uh, from far away too. 
if you can see the density detail and definition from this far away from the camera with no fancy lighting to create shadows and illusion then you'll likely see it on the stage as well so yeah that was that was a good comment anyways uh, this is his physique right now now as far as the upper body i mean what 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 can i say like he's absolutely sick looking this is insane this is crazy not not flat at all not doesn't look depleted but uh, the legs is something I, I think he improved a lot it looks like it i don't know I have to see it on stage when he's dialed down when he's like completely in shape i hope his legs are not gonna fade away and i don't think he's gonna be that stressed like when he's doing the olympia so maybe he's gonna feel better maybe he won't have to die too hard and lose the fullness lose the legs because when you add new tissue when you have a big body part and you deplete too hard and you lose all the body fat the first muscle that will go away with it is gonna be your weakest body part and that for brandon is definitely legs now, it looks like he improved the legs, but how much time did he really have to improve them since, since the Mr. Olympia? Uh, you need to hold on to the muscle tissue for a while before you can actually dive down and not lose it. But it looks like he's already in shape. I mean, in two weeks out, th that's Brandon's strategy. I follow him for a while now, and I always know that he's at two weeks out, he's ready. Then he's just cruising uh, slowly to the show, and, you know, he doesn't get much sharper than that. Yeah, two weeks out that's it and this is great looking conditioning now you can see like um, the teardrop definitely does look bigger and more prominent as far as the outer head also it looks like he added more tissue i think all four heads of his of his of his quads are looking like more prominent bigger rounder and especially the adductors i mean he always had great adductors because he didn't really have easy time building up the outer heads, you know, the lateral head. But he he, he worked on what he could, so he built those adductors. I don't I don't know how he walks even with the adductors that big, but uh, you know, apparently it worked for him. It created an illusion, but it looks like this time around he actually added tissue to the quadriceps, to the teardrop, to the lateral head. So it looks like he's gonna be improved. But can he still win? Can he beat freaking Brad Wilkin? Here is another photo that he posted and he looks absolutely amazing. And I know, guys, I know he never won a pro show. All the other guys, except for the for that one guy that won the Arnold Classic Amateur last year and uh, he's gonna have a pro debut at this Arnold Classic because that's the way it works. All the other guys are pro show winners except Brad. But, I mean, look at him. You, you cannot ignore what he looks like. He obviously looks like he can be in, in top 2, top 3. Right here in this photo, he obviously looks like he can be in top 2, top 3 or even win the Arnold Classic. If you don't see it, you don't have an eye for bodybuilding, I'm sorry. He looks great. And I know what you're thinking, some of you probably, it's not always the same, Instagram and in, in, in person, like on the stage, but... With Brett, that's not the case. He looks much better on the stage. You saw that last year. You saw all the updates before the Chicago Pro. He didn't look as good as he looked on stage. On the stage, he absolutely nailed it. So I'm expecting this guy to be much better on stage. And Phil Heat, in my last video, I found uh, Phil's comment on one of uh, Brandon's photos. He said that Brandon Curry is in the driver's seat and that he thinks he's gonna win easily. And I was like, oh, okay, Phil, he doesn't think Brad can win the Arnold Classic and beat uh, Brandon. He was honest with his assessment, even though him and Brad Wilkin are friends. And by the way, no, Phil, he is not uh, Brad's uh, brother-in-law. That was a mistake. I don't know where I get that, but his wife, Brad's wife, told me that it's not true. So apparently they're friends. And Phil was honest. Or was he? Because you know what? Brandon beat Phil. So if Brad beats Brandon, then that means Brad is a better bodybuilder than Phil. And Phil is the one who is giving advices to Brad. I mean, it's only logical. Phil is seven-time Mr. Olympia champion and Brad never even won a pro show. But if he beats Brandon this year and it looks like Brandon is improved, then he is proving that he is better than Phil. And Phil's comment here was uh, that he has Brad second. And, uh, you know, maybe on third, battling Bonac. 
So, I know, I get it. I mean, Brandon, last year, he was second at the Mr. Olympia. He's a great bodybuilder. He won the Mr. Olympia and all that. But, I mean, you cannot, you cannot not admire this physique right here and say this is one of the most impressive looks that you saw in a while. The last time I was this impressed uh, with a physique was probably Nick Walker, but Nick Walker has a, has a freaky physique and ugly, very, very ugly. This guy, Brad Wilkin, has the aesthetics as well. So it would be really awesome if we saw him win the Mr. Uh, not the Mr. Olympia, but Arnold Classic, and maybe even Mr. Olympia someday, maybe in a, in a year, two or three. Uh, I wouldn't be so surprised. I know, this is crazy saying stuff like this, but it wouldn't be impossible. Based on this look, why not? So I mentioned Bonac and uh, Phil has Bonac in third, uh, me personally, I don't, I don't know if I have him in top 5 based on this photo. It looks like the age is taking a toll on his body, he is not really as big, as full, as round as he once was and I don't think his legs are coming back, as you can see right here, they are not looking as huge, as round as they used to be and also his midsection looks uh, kind of off Overall, I mean, he looks good. He looks great. I can't say he looks bad, but to be second or third at this year's Arnold Classic, that is absolutely insane. No, I don't see it. I don't see it. I know he started working with uh, Abdullah, but now apparently he's working with uh, Chad Nichols. I don't know when did this happen, but it is what it is. And uh, can Chad Nichols help him, you know, beat Father Time? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think he can. He can win this battle. He's not fighting Brett Wilkin or Phil Heath or Steve Kuklo or whoever. He's fighting Father Time, and uh, Father Time always wins. So you're gonna see what happens in only two weeks, guys. Stay tuned because it's gonna happen very soon, and I will be the first to post everything about this Iron Classic. So once again, subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and bye bye.